I had to laugh because <laughs> I had plopped right into the chair right before y'all saw me. <laughs> I went at the last minute looking for something that I wanted to show you live in person. So, you know, I'm trying to look around because I had it. I had it all together for the show and it just slipped my mind and I don't see it around me. I have no idea then where I just misplaced it that quickly. I'm trying to keep these little brain cells working. Let me get them working. Let me get them working because I really wanted you to see the visual, but I can't delay the show. So I guess I won't have it. I guess I won't have it. <laughs> you know when you really want something and, and, and you, then you don't have it. I'm taking a look. I'm still looking real quick to see if I buried it somewhere real quick. I, and I just don't, I don't see it. I am so bummed. But the show must go on, right? The show must go on. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you for joining. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you share and subscribe. Okay. Well. I'm kind of bummed. I am. I'm kind of bummed. But here we go. Did you have a great weekend? How many bobs did you support? Because you know the pledge is still going on. The support seven bob pledge. And you know I'm going to pause. I think I'm all discombobulated because I really wanted to show you those items. I didn't even say welcome, did I? Welcome, everybody. This is an amazing Wednesday. It is gorgeous here in the uh, Michigan area, the Motor City, Detroit metro area. It is gorgeous here. I am your host, Sonia Weaver, and we have an amazing show tonight on this amazing platform where we feature some Black-owned business owners that are doing amazing things. We've had authors and musicians as well. So anyone who's making impact to our community are, is welcome, right? They are so welcome. And we are doing the thing. I'm just going to tell you, I'm always biased, but we are doing the thing. So as I said a minute ago, the Support 7 Bob pledge has not gone anywhere. Make sure you support seven Black-owned businesses every week. And that is with your time and talent, as well as your resources, those dollars and coins. So yes, I had the pleasure of being with my um, nephew. Yes. Everybody take a moment to say happy 40th birthday, Justin. Yes, he turned 40 and we celebrated him on last Friday at a bar. We were at Van Dyke's place and it was a beautiful, intimate setting. So if you are looking to have an event that is small and intimate, I would definitely recommend. They had their own parking. You know, I am big on parking. They had their own parking. And then you kind of got a lot of things included with your rental of this space. So I would say again, we had a great time. Thank you, Van Dyke's Place, for having an amazing venue. What else went on this past weekend? Well, I was excited to get a personal invitation to come to the new table number two. Now, if you remember, we had the fabulous chef Omar Mitchell on. It's been a minute, so he will be back very soon. I've already talked to him and said, you have not been on since May of 2020. And if you recall, shortly after Mother's Day in 2020, table number two, located on Livinois, actually closed. And so I am excited that he opened kind of where that one left off. This location is right down in the heart of Greek Town on Brush Street. And we had an amazing time going to table number two. Of course, I highly recommend Chef Omar. And, you know, if you can't make it downtown, you know he has Imaginate right in the rural Oak area. 
And if you happen to travel to the DR, he has a location there too. I'm telling you, it is long overdue for Chef Omar to be back on the show because he has been moving forward nonstop. So people, when you have a setback, like you were thinking like, oh, the restaurant closed, I'm telling you, do not let things happen where you think it's a setback because it definitely could be a set up for your future. And we want to congratulate Chef Omar for all of the amazing things he is doing. Now, our deal of the day, our deal of the day is we're giving away a t-shirt. Yes, y'all get excited. And that's what I was going to show you. Um, Divine Diva Designs did Juneteenth t-shirts for me before. And I was going to show you the previous version of the, D, uh, the Divine Diva Designs Juneteenth t-shirts. And then I put them away somewhere. So, you know, maybe I'll have them for you next week just so you can see them. But, of course, we got to get this going now because Juneteenth is around the corner. And this wonderful design looks good on any color shirt. So you will have the opportunity to at least let me know the color. But you remember Divine Diva Designs has relocated. So I have to allow for shipping. So I'm telling you, if you do not get your information to us in time, then this will be another deal that you missed out on, okay? So it does say something. It says living free-ish. Now, you know that what that means, right? We're like free-ish. So I kind of love that, that it's saying that it's acknowledging what happened for Juneteenth, obviously, but it's still acknowledging what kind of is going on in America today. So don't delay on getting your info in. So what do you have to do in order to receive it? Here, first, you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, what you waiting on? subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then you have to like and or follow us on social media. We are on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. And then you need to share and tag. That's right. Share five of our previous get to know episodes on your social media and tag us deals with Bob. Okay. The first person to complete all these three steps will receive that free gift. Just send us the information to info at dealswithbob.com. And again, the first person to send this information to us will receive that free t-shirt. Oh, and I can I cannot wait to see you in it. I am just going to claim that you are already about to do what's necessary to get that information in to us. Our nonprofit that we are featuring this month is our own Wall Street. Yes, we are entering into a new month. Can you believe it? It is June. We are halfway through 2023. OMG, time is just flying past. So our own Wall Street is an organization with an ecosystem designed to address the needs of underserved communities by sharing resources and teaching soft skills facilitated by professionals and business owners. Their three main service areas are civic engagement, health and wellness, and personal and professional development. These services are provided through educational workshops and events. Once the underserved members are sustained, they agree to serve with our own Wall Street to increase the outreach to assist other communities in becoming sustained. I just love that concept. And that's why it says our own Wall Street, because once they assist you, they ask you to turn around and give back to assist others. And that's exactly how we get ahead by helping one another. It is not that crab in a barrel mentality that's going to do it, because if you see, we've been doing that for quite some time. And where has it gotten us? Now that we're starting to do some collaborations and working together, we are seeing some forces happening and people moving collectively together. That's what it's all about. So 
more to come on our own wall street and you will find out why they are our featured nonprofit for the month of june now our featured business for this episode is divine diva designs let's take a moment to see what they do Divine Diva Designs offers affordable fashion and custom items that are always just a click away. Customer service and product quality are a part of their business core. They aim to dress those who also love, understand comfort with a touch of nostalgic vibes that fit for any occasion. And Divine Diva Designs is offering our consumer members 15% off. And you know, Divine Diva Designs have a plethora of items. I am definitely a supporter. The shirt I have on is a Divine Diva Designs. We support Bob. You know we support Bob. I have wine um, glasses. I have coasters, t-shirts, mugs, even the doormat. I put a picture on Facebook today. So make sure you check out my Facebook page and you will see my custom design doormat that I absolutely love. Thank you, Divine Diva Designs, for being our featured business on tonight's show. Now, our deals for our consumer members, as we kick it off, we're offering uh, Divine Diva Designs 15% off to our consumer members. True to you candles. Now, you know, I love a good candle and they are fabulous for when you open up a window and have the breeze coming through and have the scent of the candle in your home. OMG. And you know, true to you candles burn forever and the oil is phenomenal. So yes, consumer members, you will want to get your candle in that free gift. Detroit Much of Plug Podcast is offering 15% off consumer members. And I need you to get excited because in Stay Connected segment, they have an event coming up. So you want to take advantage of that additional 15% off. Mona Lisa's Lyrics is offering 15% off our event packages. And Tranquility Christian Counseling is offering 10% off their events. And they are having a planning meeting this weekend for some amazing events to come. So you want to take advantage of that 10% off. If you are a business owner and you want to offer deals, discounts, giveaways, and rewards to our consumer members, visit www.dealswithbob.com and join today. To become a consumer member, this is what you need to do. You just go to our website at www.dealswithbob.com. Click on consumer sign up and join that annual membership. Our business owners, you're going to join at, at our membership and then you will have your consumer membership included. Okay, now we need you to get your pen. We need you to get your paper. We need you to get ready because it is time to stay connected to all of the phenomenal things that are coming in and throughout our community. Can you get excited? We are kicking it off with last week's episode. If you missed it, you still can go over to our YouTube channel and hear the conversation with the phenomenal Cheryl Lynn Pope. She spilled some tea on last episode, so you need to go over and watch it so you can get all of that juicy tea that she shared. Here's what I was referring to, the Detroit Metro Plug Podcast Biz Life Book Club Summer 2023 for entrepreneur, influencers, thought leaders, learn, grow, and execute with like-minded 
business owners. This is going to be every second Thursday starting tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Hosted by the phenomenal Charles McKay. You will want to go over to Eventbrite for more information. This is a Boss Entertainment Group approved production. Cola presents Nice Time Fridays, National Caribbean American Heritage Month. This is happening at Cola Lounge and it's featuring Itania. Hopefully I'm saying that right. With Cola's award-winning band, The Uprising Band. You want to begin to check them out on June 9th. The doors open at 8 p.m. Tickets are $20 for regular and $35 for VIP. Norma G's presents the sweet singing sensation of Jamal King Mellow Man Clark. Now, this started on June the 3rd and is happening every Saturday throughout our summer. Make sure you take a moment to go down and support. If you have not already done so, you can get your registration in for Family Affair Bowling Club with Unity. That is uniting neighborhoods and inspiring today's youth. Come on out and support by bowling with your family. It is just $15 per team per week. Legacy Park Realty is having hot topics of home ownership, lunch and learn on Saturday, June 10th. And as you can see, they have a phenomenal panel arranged for you. And if you look closely, right smack dab in the middle, you have the phenomenal Crystal Gun. And to find out more about Crystal and why she does what she does, you can see the most recent episode that aired on December the 14th, 2022. Sandy Lands presents Got Inspirational Wooden Cabins Paint Party, June 11th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Detroit SIP. Purse Purge with a Purpose, Thursday, June 15th from 5 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. The proceeds are benefiting a girl like me. Detroit Book City, Juneteenth Book Fair, Saturday, June 17th from 12.30 p.m. to 5 p.m., celebrating freedom through literacy. Our Own Wall Street is presenting a night of jazz, Juneteenth Gala. Special guest is Sky Covington and keynote speaker Tanya R. Hill. This is June 17th from 7 p.m. to midnight at Mary Grove Conservancy. Money Friends LLC presents Celebrating Educators Throughout Southeast Michigan, Juneteenth Skip Day. Barbecue and Fish Fry, happening June 19th from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Motor City Princess Ball is Sunday, June 25th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. The newest and the fastest growing outdoor concert is J-E-L, -E sorry, John. Lawrence Concert Summer Series of Jazz beginning June 30th through September 1st every Friday night from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Access Identity Conference Ideas Impact Influence Saturday August the 20 so, I'm sorry Saturday August the 5th 2023 Registration is occurring now. And let us support you and your event by adding it to our Stay Connected segment by visiting www.dealswithbob.com and contacting us today. 
Well, it is that time in the show. Can you get excited? We are about to have an amazing conversation. Oh, and I'm just looking at some of the comments. Thank you. Yes, Cheryl. Collaboration is key. And hey, Tan, how are you? Thank you for joining. Oh, I'm, I think we might have lost our guest for a minute, but I'm sure she's going to pop on back in because tonight's guest, we are speaking with the phenomena, Miss Mona Lisa of Mona Lisa's Lyrics. And she was, she was in the waiting room, pleasantly waiting, <clears throat> just checking my devices to make sure she hasn't called me to say there was any difficulty. So we're going to wait a minute. Make sure she come on back. But we do have some other guests in our waiting room that I'm excited to introduce you to. Well, hello. How are you? This Hi. is Lisa <laughs> Underwood. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I am awesome. I am awesome since we are waiting on Miss Mona Lisa to come back. Um, bring her in here. Here she goes. Okay. <laughs> She's shaking her head very like she's just like totally upset. <laughs> Hello, all. Hi. <laughs> um, my computer is is really my enemy today. Oh. It's just my enemy. It's okay. Hello, everyone. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How are you? How are you? Awesome. Okay, so Lisa, can you indulge me for one moment? I'm gonna allow Mona to do her self introduction, okay. and we're gonna bring you right on back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So Mona, the computer is getting on her nerves today. We're gonna keep oh, our man. fingers crossed that we have no issues moving forward for the rest of the show. While Mona takes a moment to self introduce. <laughs> And get her frustrations out <laughs> let you know who she is of course she's been here before but for those of you who might not know let her go ahead introduce who she is what she does and why you do what you do okay well hello thank you so much for having me as you know i love your platform so thank you so much oh, for featuring me as your guest um, so I am Mona Lisa. I own Mona Lisa's Lyrics, a full service entertainment promotions company. Um, I, for the last 17 years, have created, managed, coordinated many different events, um, such as networking events, um, business launches, just you name it. Um, everything from receptions to um, just you know, live poetry, live band events, anything entertainment I have done. So um, not too long ago, though, I decided to reevaluate what I really wanted to do in business and what I wanted to grow um, and expand in. And I decided that my project, my entrepreneur of the year and dad of the year, is what I truly love doing. That's the part of you know, my business that brings me the most joy. So I decided to retire from doing um, event planning and coordinating and managing. I decided to retire from that. And now we are in the middle of, you know, I'm happy to announce we're in the middle of the mompreneur and dadpreneur gift giveaway tour. So woohoo, I'm very happy about it. And that means that we go from state to state and recognize and shower with gifts. Um, moms and dads that um, are doing big things through business and through and beyond, you know, in their community. So um, thank you so much, Deals with Bob, for being a sponsor of our 2023. <laughs> Mom for your dad for your gift giveaway tour. So um, there are many different gifts that are given, but there are products and services to help mm -hmm. the featured moms and dads be able to grow and expand and bring more income in so that they can better take care of their family and and just the whole the whole nine. So I do yeah. what I do. I do what I do because um, I had a need myself as a single mom and a business owner. Um, I was looking for, you know, support. Like I, I couldn't get 
you know, the the support as in the community, in, in a community mm -hmm. of moms who own businesses. I didn't see or I couldn't connect, really. I didn't connect with any other um, already, you know, formed group. And right. I said, well, let me just, you know. So a few years ago, I started picking and choosing, really, literally, the businesses I wanted to um, network with and that I wanted to grow with and build with. And, you know, I just said, "Woo, this is a lot of work, isn't it, mommy? This is a lot of work, isn't it, daddy? <laughs> And yeah, so my love and appreciation for every single thing that we go through, mm -hmm. every single thing that we go through as parents and business owners and wives and sisters and, and yeah. you know, aunts and cousins, you know, it's so many, so many things that we, you know, are responsible for. But um, yeah, I'm very happy about the Mompreneur, Daphneur Give Giveaway Tour. Um, our first recipient was, um, you know, uh, the t-shirt that is, you know, your special, your featuring tonight, Miss Lisa Underwood. So I can't wait to hear from her. But um, we were able to gift her um, through uh, Tracy Carter, who nominated her as being such a great mompreneur. So it just makes me feel really good that, um, you know, just we can surprise mommies and let them know and dads and let them know hey we see what you're doing we see you we appreciate you you deserve a break <laughs> you deserve some relaxation time you know so um and that p-fun concert was awesome it was it was, it was it was i had the pleasure of hosting it i was the host so i just i really loved it and camille franklin of tax divas um sponsor the give giving uh, give giveaway um segment of that so we appreciate you hey camille we love you um so yeah so she was the first recipient and this weekend we went to pittsburgh and um kiera chapman was our host business you know mompreneur there and she connected us or she nominated tara um jackson mm -hmm. um who was the radio host who, who you will be able to interview soon and we had a fabulous time. So it was Jay's vision. Miss Jay went with me and Trenisa's Jewels, uh, Xander Anderson. We, all three of us went to Pittsburgh and had a great time. Pierre Chapman was just such a gracious host for us in Pittsburgh. And um, we were able to gift, you know, give the gifts out and, and it was good. It was good. It just, I'm very happy being able to you know, have all of my loves meshed into one movement. So supporting small business, um, making sure that, you know, the the media outlets are, you know, in rotation. And thank you for being a part of my media outlet team. Of course. Um, yes. So it, it all works together, just bringing attention to the great causes that moms and dads are fighting for all over the country. Um, so everything I love is in one movement. I, I could not be happier. <laughs> awesome. I mean, it's it's been phenomenal. And I know that um, Mona and I, we've been dealing with a little technology all day. But one of the questions she asked me earlier in the day was the reason why I decided to actually sponsor and be a part of it. Why wouldn't I? I mean, you guys know how much I believe in collaboration and support. This is exactly what collaboration and support looks like in action you know yeah. so it's not about just talking about what we need to do this is the action of what it looks like and what happens and the benefits from doing it and how we just grow together when we do right when we do do this as a such you know even on tonight's show we've grown it's the more people yes. that's gonna be on tonight <laughs> you know see how i can play on words girl you know so i am happy to say that yes we kicked off i should say mona kicked off i feel like it's we you know i'll be all collaborating like it's it part of me we. too <laughs> it's we it's we <laughs> so, we, <laughs> so we kicked off 
at the P Fun concert. You guys know that Woo! I talked about the P Fun concert last time on the show. Gave y'all a little bit of clips of what you missed because if you weren't there, you missed it. So, you know, I have Cheryl Brooks in the house right now, leaving comments. And yes, we're going to bring on the phenomenal Miss Lisa. She said, Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? She said, Hello, Mona. It technology happens. Um, ah. He loves that you're recognizing entrepreneurs and that the P Funk concert was a great concert. Yes, it was, oh, Miss Cheryl. And I am so glad you you're in the house. Now, thank one so of the much. things that made it absolutely phenomenal is that we got an opportunity. Well, Mona and Camille <laughs> personally got an opportunity to recognize the phenomenal Miss Lisa Underwood. So welcome. <laughs> Yes. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I am so good. I am about to give you a solo opportunity for I want you to take a moment just since you're here to let people know who you are, what you do, and then why you do what you do. Okay. Well, um, my name is Lisa Underwood. Um I am the owner of, I'm a Detroit girl, Clothing Creations. Um, let's start with why I named the brand Detroit girl. <laughs> so I named my clothing line, I'm a Detroit girl, um, Clothing Creations, because I have a passion for Detroit fashion and I love creating unique handmade items. Um, I actually started my business back in 2012 um my son and i we started off making like custom t-shirts for like reunions and birthdays um <clears throat> sorry excuse me um so my son and i started the detroit style brand first and then we came up with the detroit girl brand as a way to expand our offerings and reach more reach um a wider audience um and so um I noticed that people were drawn to um, the Detroit girl items, uh, which inspired me to, excuse me, I'm a little nervous, <laughs> which inspired us Don't to make, be. okay, <laughs> Don't be. my first live stream, okay, <laughs> um, but uh, which inspired us to make it its own brand, so that's how Detroit girl came to life. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so um, this is your first, but it won't be your last because yes. I have I'm already getting some spots together so that you can come okay. and share a little bit more information with us about exactly what you do and how you got started, and then just so us connect and get a look know a little bit more about you. Yeah. Um, but we're here because we're tying the thread to how Mona's vision is coming to fruition mm -hmm. and how at this phenomenal event mona actually gifted you a basket full of goodies surprised me <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome it was yes. awesome <laughs> it was great now um what i will say is um make sure you take a look at the bracelet that is in there I because did. it is a finished bracelet from Link that we and contributed it was beautiful. into yes. it. Well, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. So we're hoping that you will have an opportunity to actually get linked with some family and friends because, you know, one of the gifting parts of it was that you would be free. Mm -hmm. So make, keep in mind when you have your linked event that you will be free and everyone else that are going to be there celebrating with you okay yes thank you so much so what else was in that goodie bag a uh, goodie basket. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff in there <laughs> um i believe i had a book um uh from tax pros Tech yes, Diva. Uh -huh. so I'm sorry. Right, um, right. From Camille Franklin. Tech Diva. Camille Franklin, yes. Um, awesome. She yeah. is a wonderful person. Um, so yeah, I have a book from Camille Franklin. Um, some facial scrubs. Um, I believe it was some body wash in there and um a coffee mug. Okay. I'm trying to remember everything, but I, I remember there was a coffee mug in there. 
Now, one thing I remember is because I heard you about to have a couple's massage. And see, I am a definitely one for self-care. I heard there's a gift certificate coming for that. So make sure as oh, a yes. mompreneur, <laughs> you practice self-care. It is so important. It really is. Yes. 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 Yeah, so um, full body massage with essential oils. That's so, so cool. Yes, and it is. And Fago is going to um, do the services for us, Fago. So thank you so much, Fago. Thank and, you. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then what's so important to me is that you will have a consultation, not only with the beautiful Miss Sonia Weaver, um, to, you know, see if, if any coaching is needed, what can we do to help you build your brand and to further get you out there? Yes. Um, and then to Miss LaShawn uh, Michael of the Woo Show, who will be interviewing you soon. And um, she also is a business coach and she can help you um, be able to make in more income from things that you do every day. So okay. we look forward to really, you know, collaborating with you, uh, further celebrating you and hearing your story. Um, about you know what you've had to come through, you've come Ooh, through a, a huge hurdle. I'm not gonna give it away, <laughs> yes, I'll wait for a lot. Yes. your own yes, interview. Yes, don't give away too much. Yes, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, the there's a reason for you, Moon, and not for Lisa. Yes. I know, I know. <laughs> but listen, so Tracy Carter, listen, she she's a beautiful person and yeah. she allowed me to host the P Funk concert and she nominated you to be the featured mompreneur. Uh, to receive the gift so when you know hey everybody watching it's going to be a treat you know for you to hear about lisa's it is. um yeah her life and what what has brought her to this point and what made what you know helps her to keep going so it's going to be a great show it, yes. it definitely i'm looking forward to but what one thing i do not want to delay is because lisa does have a phenomenal product and she has it on the i I'm a Detroit girl. So if you want to place an order, you can call 313-365-0473. Again, that's 313-365-0473 to place an order because I'm a Detroit girl. So you know I have to get me one of those uh, like yes. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mona, as you mentioned you so that much. this is where we started. <laughs> we started at home, but she's just mm -hmm. coming back literally from this past weekend visiting in Pittsburgh, where Woo! she had a phenomenal assistant <laughs> yes. from the phenomenal Kira Chapman. So, Kira, Thank welcome you. to the show. How are you? Hi, I'm Hi. fine. How are you? <laughs> So, yes, Kiara was instrumental in yes. having this, Hello, Pittsburgh, with Mona Lisa's lyrics that she was celebrating a mompreneur there in Pittsburgh this past weekend. So tell us, Kiara, first, a little bit about you. What yes. do you do, who you are, and why you do what you do? So, um... I am the owner of Ascension with Poise Healing, LLC. Um, it's a holistic healing company that um, where I use Reiki um, therapy, meditation, and mindfulness life coaching to help people um, heal their inner child um, and forgive themselves and, and others. Um, uh, and then I also um, make wire wrap crystal jewelry. I sell... Um, resin art jewelry as well. Um, but why I do what I do, um, I think I got to a point in my life where I didn't want to allow depression and, and anxiety to run my life. Um, and so I started looking into, I've always been um, not into natural healing per se, but I wasn't one to run to take medicine when I was sick. I, I'd rather like, I'm one to like sleep off any illnesses or ailments or, and stuff like that since I was little. Um, so I wanted to continue to go that route, um, especially with mental health, um, my mental health. 
Um, so I looked, started doing research and came across Reiki and meditation. Um, and it's helped me personally um, pretty much navigate through my emotions and think clearly, make better decisions um, when it comes to things where um, it doesn't go my way, per se, <laughs> <laughs> to put it lightly. So, um, yeah, so that's that's what I do and, and why I started. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Now I am getting excited because Kiara, you too, we're going to be having you booked on the show to find out more about what you do in more details, how you got started, some of the, the adversity you may have had to face so we can encourage others. Yes. I'm excited because yes, for 20 plus years being a life coach, but also I'm actually a life coach uh, collaborating in Tranquility Christian Counseling. And uh -huh. so I have incorporated um, sound therapy. So I would love to see the co collaboration where I use singing bowls in mm -hmm. order to help people if they have some anxiety and issues. So I definitely am looking forward to this conversation yes. to know a little bit more about what you do completely on the holistic side. OMG. So tell us, we're going to put Mona in the spotlight a little bit. Tell us what it was like with getting prepared for this Pittsburgh tour. Um, So it was very exciting. Um, I won't say nerve wracking because that's kind of like a negative notion. It was, it was good vibes. Um, I definitely enjoyed um, having them here. Um, we did run into a few hiccups, but you know, we were, we, you know, the show must go on <laughs> and we were able to um, still get the gifts to um, the nominee as well. So everything worked out. Um, yeah, it was a, a very fun experience. Awesome. Thank awesome. You. You're I welcome. Listen, listen, <laughs> everybody who knows me knows how transparent I am. So I said, Pittsburgh is so beautiful. It's so pretty. It's so green and lush. But will I ever, ever drive there again? No. <laughs> I'm very transparent. Listen, I, by trade, was a bus driver for 20 years, okay? I actually drove a tour bus through, you know, Pennsylvania in the snow. I was terrified. Okay, so I said I would never do it again. So with this trip, it just didn't dawn on me before I went. I'm like, wait, are there mountains? Well, hold on. Am I going to have to go through hills and valleys? And it just didn't dawn on me until we were like smack dab into the hills and valleys. And I said, oh, yeah. listen, and I said, Kiara is so awesome. She helped us tremendously. She set everything up, you know, for it to go smoothly with um, the mommy nominee. Here is so essential. I had all these ideas in my head. Oh, we're going to come to Pittsburgh and do a healing retreat. I had all these thoughts in my head. As I got through driving, I said, how about this? You are going to have to come to Detroit. I'm not. I'm not going to come to Detroit. Listen, I have so if many. You, if she I have so many Detroit, great collaborations. Yes. yes. <laughs> Your mom will love her, Sonia. Yes, you know. I was just thinking, like, we could do a retreat right there with the tranquility piece and yes. everything. Yes, and in that. Because I'm not uh, I told, <laughs> That's listen. the first thing Mona told me. <laughs> she wants yeah. to be on camera. That's okay, yeah. baby. See, She's we talk about true, so mom, true mompreneurs. This is true mompreneurs at work right here, Mona. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yes, that collaboration will be will be awesome. It will yep. definitely be awesome. So we're gonna bring Lisa back in because here's one question that I am uh it, wanting to ask. Um, mm -hmm. well, Kiara, you actually um nom did you nominate the mompreneur there or you you yeah. okay so you, you nominated the mompreneur there? Now, mm -hmm. Lisa was the, the first to start off the tour this year, the mm -hmm. 2023 tour. And you saw her excitement and, and what she said oh. about receiving the information. And since we don't have that, that Pittsburgh mompreneur on right now, did you get any feedback from her, though, when you gave her the, the gift basket? 
Yeah, um, she was actually very excited. Um, she's actually been going through a lot, a tough time recently. Um, mm -hmm. And so she said that um, it definitely made, brightened up her day. Um, mm -hmm. The self-care packages were just what she needed. Um, and oh, she, yeah, she was <laughs> very excited. Yes. <laughs> and, and that's awesome. Because here's the thing that I love about what Mona's doing. And sometimes what happens is that we have to work and work and work and we get to a man's level. You know, you know what I mean? Where like man said, you have arrived and then you start getting like these accolades and different things. And it's great, but it's also great to get it when you're starting or when you're like in year zero to five or maybe even year five to 10 and you're juggling being a mom and you're juggling, you know, even possibly a regular nine to five with your entrepreneurship to say, you know, we see you, we yeah. appreciate you keep going. Yeah. So Lisa, when you were crying on stage, oh. is that how you felt? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. I was just so excited because it did. It helped to brighten my day as well. Um, I don't know. It just blew me away. I mean, um, it's just been a rough two years, three years. Mm. So just to be, you know, recognized and just shown all the love that was coming my way. It just made me feel really good. That's awesome. And we want to yeah. definitely make sure that we keep our moms and our dads encouraged because, mm -hmm. you know, taking on the role of, of entrepreneurship to fulfill a purpose is not always easy, you know. And mm -hmm. a lot of times I tell my clients and I tell my watchers and viewers the same thing. It doesn't mean you're going down this role of entrepreneurship and then this is it. This is going to be your livelihood. Exactly. It might not be. It might be what you need to do though to have that peace within you know mm -hmm. to have that purpose fulfilled and so regardless of how you see that success we want to make sure that you continue in what you desire to do and feel successful at it and whatever that looks like for you mm -hmm. and i am so proud of you mona this oh. is like a dream <laughs> come true of hers i'm telling y'all i'm okay. telling y'all <laughs> I'm happy for you too. <laughs> yes. Listen, thank you so much. And it, you know what? I could not have done nearly as many things or, or reached nearly as many people if I didn't have the supportive team of especially like my media outlet team, you know, you, Sonia and LaShawn. And now we just added Jeffrey at, um, Edwards on. You guys are really, really phenomenal helping the businesses, the small businesses, especially get noticed and get out mm -hmm. there and get their products out there and you know you're interviewing them and you know yes. it, it it really does help me this is definitely a dream come true like this seeing both of you here lisa and kira i'm i'm just overwhelmed because yes this has been a dream come true for me it's yes. been in the making for a while and mm -hmm. sometimes you have to sit back and say what really makes me happy, right? And I yes. had to do that a few months ago. I'm like, what really, what am I going to do moving forward? Because what I was doing and the way I was doing it no longer brought me joy. It just right. didn't, you know? Yeah. So I had to reevaluate everything, just everything, yeah. how I did everything. And I said, what, how can I continue kind of in the same field, but how can I continue you know, building my joy though, right? At the same time, exactly. while building with others, while helping others, while still, you know, having those great opportunities um, that I was able to um, offer people when I had physical events. So mm -hmm. this, this, is, this is great. You guys, you didn't even know you played such a pivotal, pivotal role, you know, with my transition over to, you know, um, really concentrating yeah. on this movement, mompreneurs and darepreneurs. So thank you two yeah. for being so gracious, you know, and, and putting your arms around a movement that you may have not heard of yet, right? Yeah. And that's what yeah. Sonia is saying. <laughs> you know, but that's what Sonia is saying. She's like, you know, um, we're, we're talking to people who maybe aren't out yet, you know, internationally. And even though I've been doing it for a long time, 
Um, some people still haven't heard of Mona Lisa's lyrics. So, <laughs> so it's exactly. a building up together. Yeah, we're building up together. But I, I appreciate you, Sonia. You have no idea, girl. You know you my sister's <laughs> friend. Oh, thank you. you. <laughs> it <was> mutual. <laughs> And guys, I need to put a pin in it because the chat is busy. It is busy. So Cheryl <laughs> has made a few comments. Cheryl Cart started off, congratulations on Pittsburgh and the tour. She said, Thank you. encouragement is important. And it is yeah. very important. And then the princess within 313, thank you for joining. She said, great show from one mompreneur to you all. Thank you oh. for being an amazing mompreneur. And, and that's awesome, oh, Mona. That sure can definitely relate to everything that we're saying. I can too. <laughs> now, as we have only a few more moments left in tonight's show, Mona. The next stop is Chi Town. Can you say yes. that? Yes. <laughs> so yes. our, our guests here on the show, including me and those in the chat, Mona is on her way to Chi Town. We yes. need you guys to let us know where the Bobs at. What Bobs do you know in Chi Town that we need to shout out? As we get yes. prepared to go on the next stop. Now, and you know what? I, know, I love. Oh, go ahead, honey. I'm sorry. I'm cutting you I, off. I, your I was going to say, I know y'all love Garrett. It's a Garrett's popcorn. I know y'all love that in Chi Town. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you about Chicago Land. That is a phenomenal husband and wife that I happen to know. And they have phenomenal product. Their popcorn to me is. I think it's a little bit better because it's a little lighter than Garrett's. Mm. Yours is a little heavier to me. And then No Cobbs is a soul food restaurant. Those are my two Bobs that you always should check out if you're in the Chi-Town area. Now, Mona, you were about to say something. No, I was going to say I'm, I'm so excited about going to Chicago because I love downtown Chicago, especially mm -hmm. in the summertime. So this was yes. strategically done. <laughs> Strategically said, oh Chicago, would you like? <laughs> but I love, I love downtown Chicago. And then too, um, you know, we've done events in Chicago before over the years. And um, you know, I, I love the vibe of Chicago. I love how um they're true to their city, just like Detroiters are true to their city, right? So we have yeah. something that's really, really um a great connection when we go to Chicago. But more importantly, I just look forward to being able to one-on-one, um, -on -one, you know, share the products from Michigan and Chicago, right? Because that's what we're doing. We hand deliver <laughs> the products from people on the team. We take them with us, get them out. And um, here again, that's another strategy for growing together. That's, that's you know, so your products are now in Chicago. Your products are now being talked about in Chicago. Your pro you know, your, your products are now in Pittsburgh. You know, now you're being talked about in Pittsburgh. So what we do is more than just um, a, a, a cold commercial, right? So we give it the personal touch. We put people behind um, the movement that we have. So that's why it's so important that Kiera and Lisa, um, you know, really dig what we do because it's people like this, the mompreneurs, the dadpreneurs that make you know, it all works. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm excited. July 15th and 16th. And let me just say this. If you want your products um, showcased, okay, for Chicago and, and you want them um, showcased throughout our ad campaign for Chicago, just give me a call at 586-460-8981. So if you do that and we discuss what your products are and see if you're a good fit for the movement, then we'll move on and um, get you out there. So, yeah, love it. I'm excited. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, Lisa, Kiera, do you happen to know any Bobs in Chi Town? Unfortunately, no. But <laughs> no, I've never oh, been we gotta that. We We're gotta changing change that. that. We're changing that. That's yeah. right. Since I am the queen of Bob. That's what I'm calling myself. The self-proclaimed queen of Bob. Yes, I you do are. Know 
several in Chi Town. And so, what we're doing, ladies, is you were getting an email from Deals with Bob once we finish the blow up and the reconstruction to join our community because what yeah. we're doing is we're having a community of black owned businesses become a part of the new directory where you actually will be able to engage with every member now. That's something that oh, we didn't have nice. before. Wow. But now you're going to be mm -hmm. able to engage and awesome. collaborate across states with the members of the directory. Ooh, so get oh, excited. Cool. Because, yes. Yes. And we keep the membership fee low so that you can participate. This is about <laughs> us really connecting and collaborating. So make sure when I let you guys know that email is coming, that you be prepared to join this phenomenal group of people that we are a we say we're a community of reputable entrepreneurs we are at the core mm -hmm. and we're making it happen okay it sounds good so mona is going to have a lot to tell us in a couple months at the end of the tour you know guys we're going to bring her back but i'm going to do a quick yeah. round table with some of the classic things that i always ask towards the end of the show one round table. I want everybody to let them know first how people can connect to you. Okay. The second part of it is how do you stay encouraged to keep going? Okay. And then the third is what book is on your nightstand or that you have recently read or would highly recommend reading and so we're going to kick it off with pittsburgh since we were just there miss <laughs> kiara let us know okay um so you can all reach me um uh, let me see keep it simple my website um to if you wanted to book a reiki session um because i do offer complimentary 30 set um 30 minute sessions for first-time customers um, you can reach me at, at www.awphealingllc.com um, and phone number 412-668-6800. Um, and then my, um, hold on baby, my Facebook page, my Facebook business, business page, Asc Ascension with Poise Healing LLC, um, and that will send you to the link my link tree for everything she Hi, can't help sweetie. herself she is so cute <laughs> it's okay, okay wait a minute the way she so strategically did it though she just like, <laughs> she did it all the time. wow yeah um sorry about that but um to answer the next question how i stay motivated Oh, I've recently just got out of a rut of wanting to quit, <laughs> um, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, not quit, but just rethink things. But um, what kept me going is remembering my why. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter being the biggest one. Um, but just generation breaking generational curses um, in my uh, family line as well um, is mm -hmm. another why for me. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And then um, that third one. What was the third one? Oh, my book. Um, <laughs> that's what I was actually looking for. I was trying to see if it was around here. But it was actually a book that I um where did it go? It was a book that I won um at the event that I actually vended at in Detroit that I where I met Mona Lisa. Oh okay, um, now. Hey Miss Diva. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, oh, there it is. Hold on one second because I don't okay. want to mess up the name. <laughs> yeah, we met at a, a networking event here in Detroit. So, yes. yeah, oh, good. Um, so it's Get Good with Money. Um, oh, oh, Get Good with Money. Oh, awesome. um, so, I'm, I'm not done with it yet, but I definitely got started in within the first chapter, I was taught what I didn't, you know, I was taught some things. So mm -hmm. um, definitely plan on implementing the uh, things that I learned from this book. So awesome. Like awesome. Thank you, Kiara. And Cheryl Brooks. And I have to say hi, Cheryl Lynn Pope. I, I didn't make the connection with the princess within 313. Thank you for joining. 
Cheryl Brooks says she knows several people in Chi Town. She'll ask about the Bobs in Chi Town. Thank you, Cheryl. We would Thank definitely you, want that information. Lisa. <laughs> yes. Do I need to repeat them or do we know what the three questions are? Yes, I remember. Okay. okay. So um, I can be reached at Instagram at um, I'm a Detroit girl. Um, I can be reached on Facebook at I'm a Detroit girl. Um, and you can I mean, reach us at www.imadetroitgirl.com. Awesome. Um, and for the second one, how do I stay motivated? Um, I would say my family, mm -hmm. uh, my kids and my grandkids, mm -hmm. um, they give me the drive to keep going. Um, so that's about that. <laughs> that's it on that. Um, and what book do I read? Do I have on my nightstand? Yep, that's on your nightstand, or that you've recently read, or would highly recommend reading. Okay, well, that would be my Bible. So mm -hmm. I read yes. that a lot. <laughs> so, definitely, yeah. definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. And can I just say, um, you look phenomenal, Grandma. Oh, thank yeah, you. you got right oh, <laughs> she really does. She slipped in. Y'all missed that slip in at the green shoe. I was like, oh. okay. Thank you so much. Yep. I have uh, five boys and I have, uh, yeah. You are yeah. a true grandma. <laughs> yes. And I have eight grandkids. Oh, my oh, Jesus. Wow. Yep. So oh, I'm busy. Lord. <laughs> well, I would tell you then, black don't crack, cause Thank Lord, you. I wouldn't have never thought that you are a mm -hmm. true grandma. <laughs> yeah. And they keep me, they keep me on my toes. They keep me busy. I tell you. Awesome, awesome. Now, Mona. All righty, so you can contact me. Um, I am on Facebook under Mona Liza L I Z Z A. Or um, I'm also on Facebook under um, Mona's Entertainment. So um, I'm on Instagram under MLL Essentials One. And um, yeah, so and really for the tour and trying to connect with me, it's best to call me though, 586-460-8981. Because when you call me, I'll see what your needs are. And then I will email you out the information that I feel um, will fit you best. So if you reach out at 586-460-8981, that's the best way to get me. Um, what keeps me motivated is my son, my beautiful kid. Um, he'll be 15 in September. And I'm trying not to hyperventilate because in a moment, he's going to be off to college, right? So... <laughs> I'm, you know, he was in um, Sonia's um, youth entrepreneur um, uh, boot camp like a couple of years ago. And so he does want to own his own business. And I'm just, you know, I'll have him working with me some in the summer and blah, blah. But he definitely keeps me going because I have to leave a legacy for my son. Like there's no, yes. there is no if, answer, buts about it. I have to leave a legacy for my son. My son will not struggle the way I did with no kind of foundation set for him. That's not going to happen to my, my son. So, um, you know, I work very hard to make sure that, you know, the path for him is set. Um, okay. And the book. Now, let me say all the times that I've been on this show, uh, every time she asks me that, I'm unprepared with an answer. I'm prepared today, lady. <laughs> <laughs> all right how to make a thousand dollars a week as a notary public by miss vanessa terry okay so i just um signed on to being a notary and then i, I really did it because um four years ago i was in a car accident just to make a long story short i was in a car accident i've had five or six major surgeries within the last four years and some days I wake up and I'm in so much pain so I can't function. So it's out of the question for me to have a just a regular nine to five because I do not know how I'm going to feel until I wake up, literally. Mm -hmm. So um, Miss Dashika Hill, um, I love her. She's another sister friend. She's an elderly and she tra she's training me into everything that they can do. There are so many different things that notaries do 
to make great income. So I'm just giving a shout out to the notaries. Hey, y'all. But yeah. So how to make a thousand dollars a week as a notary public. I'm prepared to sign Sonia. I deserve a yes. Good job. Good job. Because Deals with Love believes in literacy and we believe in getting as much knowledge as possible because the application of knowledge is where power comes. And so thank you all for sharing on, on, on your books and everything. And Mona, thank you for mentioning the camp. I haven't said too much. It is summertime and I have been debating. So guys, Send me information if you think this is something you would want to see me do this year, because I'm telling you, your sister is busy, but I love the youth if you feel that you want your children to participate. I have a youth entrepreneurship boot camp. It is one week, and then they do a business fair from the my businesses they created. Yeah. And yes, we are yeah. here to financially support them because I give out additional prizes based on different things in a community choice etc but i am so happy for my children that have gone through the program and it has sparked their interest in becoming yeah. entrepreneurs and they already yeah, know yeah. the process of getting started to mm -hmm. to get that going and i just love 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 just sewing into our youth so yeah y'all let me know send me an email and let me know if i need to go ahead and squeeze it into my calendar for this summer you need no. to. <laughs> yes, we do. Do I have to email you still? Look, do I have the to children email? need it. You need they to. Need you. My son loved it. His best friend attended, as you know, with him. So both of them loved it, loved it, loved it. So, um, Sonia, listen, we don't take it lightly. The things that you do in the community are just phenomenal. And that is the reason why I love you so much outside of even, you know, just collaborating and believing in me. Um. This is why I do what I do, really. There are so many wonderful businesses and, and genuine, genuinely big-hearted people that are out here to help others and to grow and to provide you with those services that will help you grow with us. And, you know, yeah. you are just phenomenal. So, yes, do the youth um, boot camp. <laughs> okay, I gotta look at my calendar. Thank you. Know, don't book it during the time that I need you. Don't book it during the time that I ain't that funny. Don't book it during the time that I need you, though. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, I want to thank you for a, a phenomenal conversation. It has been full of laugh and joy, laughter and joy. Thank you so much. I can't wait to have our individual conversations, Lisa and Kiara. Yes. It's yeah. going to just be phenomenal. Yeah, I <laughs> want you guys to mark your calendars because look, we have an action-packed June for you. Next week, we will be speaking with the phenomenal Portia Lockett. OMG, y'all better be prepared. Next week's show is going to be phenomenal. Then we're going to be speaking with Charles McKay, who is kicking off his segment on Tomorrow, remember in our Stay Connected segment, he has this phenomenal group of entrepreneurs coming together to do a workshop off of a book. Can you get excited? And then we're ending the month with this month's nonprofit founder. This is the founder of Our Own Wall Street, the one and only Sunita Gary. OMG, this month is going to be phenomenal make sure you tune in every wednesday and if you have not already done so i cannot believe what you're waiting on okay i need for you to subscribe personally to our channel on youtube then share with your family and friends make sure they also subscribe why do i keep asking you this because of the phenomenal businesses like this that we just talked to the more subscribers we have, YouTube will push it even further. And we don't know what we don't know, right? So the more we can get out there with visibility, the more people will know about you and the phenomenal products and services you have to offer. And most importantly, your why. That is the purpose of Get to Know Bob, for them to get to know you and why you do what you do.
So again, I am Sonia Weaver, and I thank you for tuning in this week. Thank you all for tuning thank in. You. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl, for your comment. Make sure you come back next week. As thank always, you. I am Sonia M. Weaver. I encourage you to spend with purpose because your dollar does matter and deal with Bob. Have an amazing evening. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>